Hello and welcome in this video we are doing the post layout simulation for CMOS inverter using Cadence Virtuoso software. So first we created the schematic for the CMOS inverter then we created the symbol for our inverter from that schematic. Then we also make a test band circuit to test the performance for that CMOS inverter. Then we did the layout design for that CMOS inverter using the layout excel function in Cadence Virtuoso. Now we will be doing the post layout simulation and, and we will be comparing the performance of our schematic design to the layout design. So for that first we will be creating a configuration file. So the library should be same as the library which we used for creating the schematic. And the name of the cell should be the same as the name of the test bench. Then we will create the file to be of type config. So we are creating a configuration file. So as you can see I have created a file. Now in the view I will change it to the specter. So as you can see from the drop down first we will choose the schematic as the view and in use template we will be using the specter as the template. So click on ok. And again click on ok. So you can see uh, a uh, view uh, is uh, generated. So we are having these different types of table view and tree view. Now we will create now we will create another file. So this should be of the type config. So we are creating a configuration file and click on OK and uh, both options should be yes. So as you can see this is the configuration file which has opened. So there are schematic view. This is the test bench view which we created for our schematic. For testing the performance of schematic. So let us again run the this. So we will choose the uh, analysis as transient analysis for 100 nanosecond. Choose it to be of moderate type. So in this analysis we are checking the performance of our schematic design. So we will choose the output and the input and plot the waveform. So this waveform that is generated is of the schematic design. So we can see the rise time and the fall time. We will save this waveform. So go on trace properties and select uh, unselect this default and choose and save this waveform as of schematic. Later we will be comparing this waveform with the waveform generated from our layout design. So we will be comparing the waveforms for layout and schematic. So now in this schematic we can see we have two PMOS only. Uh, one NMOS, one PMOS and the input voltage and the output voltage. These are the only components which are present in the original schematic. So we will set it to be AV extracted. So remember we had extracted the parasitic capacitances and parasitic reactances. So when we go on the tree view for this extracted view then we can see we have parasitic capacitances and parasitic resistances. So you can see we have a total of 13 parasitic capacitances. So you can scroll down. So now we will save this and now we will run the performance for this AV extracted file. So earlier we had Done, uh, done the waveform for the schematic file. Now we are doing the waveform for this AV extracted. So this will give us the performance for our layout design. So let me just remove this V naught V minus V plus 
दीज आर एक्स्ट्रा एक्सटेनियस वैल्यूज दीज वैल्यूज वी डोंट नीड सो आई एम डिलीटिंग दिस सो नाउ वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर डूइंग द परफॉर्मेंस सिम्युलेशन फॉर ले आउट डिजाइन सो वी विल append it append means to add this waveform so we will add this waveform with the earlier waveform which we are generated for schematic design so as you can see this is the waveform generated so if, we, if i scroll down now we have two output waveforms so you can see now we are having two output waveform the output for schematic is for the schematic design and the second output waveform is the performance of the layout design so uh, we don't need the input inputs because the inputs were the same so i will be deleting them and i will be uh, merging these two output waveforms to compare them side by side so let me zoom in now i will merge these two waveforms so as you can see this is a zoomed in view the blue waveform is the layout design and the red waveform is the schematic performance so yeah you can see the blue waveform which is of the layout is giving slightly more fault time delay because it has more parasitic capacitances and more parasitic resistances that are taken into account remember the schematic design we considered the nmos and pmos design to be normally ideal but in layout uh, in layout we had parasitic resistances and parasitic capacitances so you can see there is a slightly more time taken for the input to fall so you can see the blue waveform has slightly shifted towards the right hand side and we can measure the changes in the voltage also so this is 485 millivolt and that is 487 or 488 millivolt so there is a difference of 3 millivolt also so we have compared the performances